thank you for tuning in. So I spent a lot of time over the weekend working on this build. I wanted to get it complete and in the air and then demo it, but instead I figured it would be useful to uh, share uh, my findings as I learn how to do this. So what this is going to be is, this is the Sweep Wings flinch that Ruben from Sweep Wings sent me a few months ago. I've been building it for the past day and it's been a really fun build, but what I was originally gonna do is just mount the motor on the back and just fly it as a traditional wing, but I thought now that I have this Pixhawk 2 cube, uh, I got this from Paul Denardi at Jester's Drones, so definitely check him out. I'm going to install the PX4 uh, firmware to get a VTOL tilt wing. So as you can see here, I have two motors uh, mounted on the front. Uh, this one is currently hard mounted. I wanna just pull this off and show you guys uh, what I have going on. This is a, a design that I came up with. I hacked together over the weekend using uh, Autodesk Fusion 360. It's a super cool program. I'm by no means very good at design, but was able to hack this together. So you can see it just is gonna slide on and clamp. And what I've done over here is gone ahead and mounted it with a little bit of hot glue. So I put some tape over it just in case uh, I need to remove this. I can just crack this 3D printed mount off and then hopefully uh, maybe put a different motor on there or replace anything in case of a crash. What the PX4 vertical takeoff and landing firmware will do is once I get everything configured, I'm really most concerned about CG. We're about six and a half inches from the front. So there's gonna be a lot of uh, weight up front with these motors. Uh, the cube, I might have to end up mounting it here. I'll, I'll share that as I learn more. What will happen is we'll take off vertically. This will hover, uh, keep stabilization. I'll be able to yaw and maintain position. Now, ultimately you don't wanna be in this uh, position for too long, obviously, because you're gonna be draining the batteries a lot, just trying to keep stable. And then uh, we'll have a toggle. I'll use one of my flight mode switches to transition into forward flight and hopefully uh, that will work out. Right now, my initial goal is just to get everything configured, everything working in hover mode so that I get comfortable with the frame and then I'll start working towards uh, transitioning into forward flight. What I currently need to finish doing, I'm going to get the winglets installed, uh, the front skids, that's all part of the Sweep Wings flinch uh, default build and then I'll start working on getting the electronics in place. Now, this cube will actually fit inside this bay as well as I can put a battery in there, but I just have this fear that we're gonna be too front end heavy. So it might turn out that I'll just need to mount the cube here and some of the other components. We'll have two ESCs uh, running out of the Pixhawk and we'll have both of our servos. From what I've seen, there's not a whole lot of documentation on uh, setting up a tilt wing and what I'm gonna do is just over the next few weeks share what I learn, uh, the different configuration parameters, and hopefully get this working. I'm super excited about being able to take off. Using the winglets, I can stand this up. It'll be in a vertical uh, takeoff position, assuming there's no wind to blow it over. I'll take off and then be able to transition forward. I'm going to get back to hopefully finishing this build. If you, any of you have ventured down this path before and have any tips, please share them below and I'll continue to document my process. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Until next time, thanks for watching.